Jackson and Cloud, I'm Jamin. I'm Casey. And I'm Olivia. And today we're playing Chronicles of Crime. Which uh, we just tried the tutorial a second ago, so we just figured out how to play this game. We're excited to try it out, see how it goes, but essentially it requires an iPad, which is gonna take you into look at some scenarios, and then like a million QR codes on everything. So you're trying to investigate what's going on, you're scanning QR codes, trying to figure out what's what. There's several different kinds of scenarios you could play. We are going to play chapter one. So in today's episode, we're just gonna play Curse of the Pharaohs, which is difficulty level easy. And, spoiler alert, you're gonna see what happens. So if you plan on playing this game, unless we lose, in which case you'll see what you could have done. <laughs> <laughs> and failed at. And failed at. But we're gonna just try it out, see how it goes. We haven't played this uh, story yet. So, here we go. Chief Officer Carter, number 39, has summoned us to his office. So at this point, we look for card 39. And we add it. At Scotland, Scotland Yard. Yard. We're still good, yeah. Scotland, Scotland Yard. Yard. Okay. Comes to our office. Got a call from the British Museum, which is marker L. L. And there it is. And we're gonna add it to a location right... I don't know where these are supposed to go here. I think it's right yeah, here. Yeah, any of those locations might okay. be fine. So I got a call from the British Museum at L this morning. One of their exhibit halls was broken into, and it seems some artifact was stolen. Gather your team and investigate the place. All right. When you get there, talk to Amy Davis, number 17, the uh, exhibition curator. She's expecting you. Come back to Scotland Yard when you have found out who's responsible for the theft. All righty. And one more thing, some newspapers have claimed that the museum's new collection is cursed. It's pure nonsense, but maybe you could find out some connection or argument supporting this ancient myth. Alright, so so we want to go to Bloom's the, the place first, right? Uh, yes. Who's this guy again? He's the guy who just told us that. Yes. Okay. So, scan Bloomsbury. So we're going to scan a location to head there. Which we always have fun trying to see. Okay. So we're at the British Museum of Bloomsbury. You arrive and remember the staff leaves you to the burgled exhibit hall where you meet Amy Davis, number 17, the curator. You can investigate the crime scene or start interrogating her. So I say let's go with her first. Since we're already- Interrogate. Thank God you're here. This is outrageous. We haven't even had a chance to display the new ex exhibition and it's been robbed already. The only thing that was stolen was the jewel of Queen Nitocritus. Sure. The ancient Egyptian amulet depicting a sacred scarab. She hands over a photo of the ancient jewel in the shape of a sacred scarab, number five. Number five. Got a scarab, which apparently is a bug. Found a clue. Cool. All right, so we've done her. Yep, we should. Uh, Investigate yeah. the scarab? No. Well, uh, don't. Well, okay. We should search the scene. So in the top right, right corner of the app, it tells us how much time we have. Every time we do something, it adds time to it if we run out of time. All right, so searching the scene. Yep. Yeah. We're going to go without. Right. Yep. Now put it where we can all see. I'll let you take it from here. So we are looking around. It's night at the museum here. Apparently, I need to hold it up. All right. So we're looking for clues. That's so there's a point. hammer. Hammer is important to know. There's, there's a paper. paper. Uh, the there's scarab. a scarab, and the hammer was obviously the weapon. To... There's broken glass. A security system. Yeah. Uh, can't look closer. Wood, rope. Uh, letters. letters, computer, um, other statues, uh, anything in the boxes. All right. So what? You said boxes. There were, but we didn't look in it. Okay. So you said papers. I got that one. So Is let's there any? Scan the papers and see what happens. Bloop. 
Series of letters with warnings, requests, and even threats. All of them call on the museum to turn down the donation from Sir Edmund Hawkster, number, number 27. 27. The author believes that the items are cursed and nothing good can come from accepting them. The letters are anonymous. anonymous. Ooh. So, that dude, I guess, is going into our... Right. We should find more clues first, though. All right. Uh, so what else do we say? A uh, security system? Um... Or alarm system? I don't know like what that would garden be. Tools. Wait, what's the devices? Communication devices? There was a computer, but maybe that's not. Keys and locks. Computer devices. Yeah, let's do there that. There we go. Let's do that. Computer devices. Oh, wait, papers was a... Was a clue. Clue, add that down. Down, down, computer devices, right? Right, 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 right. Computer, laptop produced by a well-known hardware company, mid-priced, access is locked with password protection. So we can't get in, but. But we did clue. find a clue. All right, footprints and traces at all? There was like beams of wood, but. Yeah. Vehicles, blood, liquids, bottles. Medicine and drugs, mm -mm. gardening tools, decoration uh, items. Put tools aside. Well, there's gardening tools and there's DIY tools. Oh, DIY, DIY tools, tools, yeah. Okay. Jewelry? No. Melee weapons, furniture, firearms, communication devices, cords, and restraining devices. Keys and locks, high tech devices. High tech devices. High tech devices could be the alarm a system. Alarm right. system. Alarm system, and then find the DIY one while we're doing that. Right. Wall panel gives access to the hall security system. That was a clue. All right. DIY tools? Yeah. The hammer. Check that one for prints. Scan it. You can do it. You got this. I believe in you. QR code. Hammer could have been used to smash the glass cabinet. We should analyze for fingerprints and other yeah. traces. All right, anything else that we want to... Trash, boxes and packages. Let's do boxes, just since yeah. you said there were boxes. I wasn't paying attention. Well, it was crates more, but... Well, it's kind of a box. Nothing in this category. Okay, so... You wasted 10 minutes of our time. It's... 10 minutes! It's fine. We're gonna die now. No, we're not. The Don't... killer's gonna it's kill us. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. Killer. We're good. There's not even a killer. Okay, so <laughs> shall we interrogate that guy or send some things over to the places? What? Let's do this guy. Yeah. Oh, we accidentally scanned him. I guess we're not supposed to do that yet. Okay. No. Um. Let's do the criminology center for the hammer. Uh, or is that forensic? Forensics. Well, it's forensic. Physical evidence. Physical evidence, yeah. Okay, all right. Help us, forensic lady. If you give me a physical clue, I can analyze it. DIY Hammer, tools. DIY. Found some fingerprints. Quick cross-analysis with the museum personnel database produced two records, Amy Davis and Sebastian Hill, number 48. We already got Amy. Right. 48 is what we're looking for. Sebastian Hill. Alrighty, and then do we get we a have thing the for other fingerprints one. or no? Uh, no? Okay. I guess it did it. it? Let's it check the really history. Good. History found some fingerprints. I guess that's all it says. Okay. Okay, yeah, because we don't know whose fingerprints, I guess. Well, well we it was these two. Who's. All right, do we need to bring anything else to her computer? Um, no, hacking and intelligence, hacker. yeah. Oh wait, what about papers? Could there be any fingerprints on the papers? Maybe, you wanna check that? Yeah. yeah. sure. Letters were written by hand. Looks really hard to read. Under stress, the author was under stress or in a hurry. He also know a lot of details about the museum. Worth asking the personnel about that. Okay. Um, do we... Do we have the scarab? 
Y yeah, this is a picture of the scarab. It's not the scarab itself. Okay, so that's not gonna, she can't investigate that. So then let's send uh, the hacker in. Yeah, the hacker for the computer. Let's put a new location, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm not really a people person. Crap, goodbye. goodbye. Go away. And you said I wasted 10 minutes? <laughs> you called the IT department, having a technical issue. Computer devices. That's right. Laptop was locked with the password, unlocked it easily. It belongs to Amy Davis. Oh, Amy. Mm. You become more and more peculiar, Amy Davis. May not be very polite to go through someone's emails, but you might be interested in a few of the messages that have been sent to the official curator's inbox. Someone named Lilia Pickett, number 53, sent several offers for the purchase of the jewel. Quick online search revealed that she is the owner of an antique shop in Notting Hill, which is G. So we will put her on G. And now we have another place to go. Oh uh, no, high tech devices. Yep. Let's try that out. Can you break into the password? No trace of hacking, system works fine. Looks like someone knew the code, disarmed it. The mm. required 20 seconds before the alarm would trigger. Which makes okay. me think it'd be someone Pretty there. sure, um... We either need to go back to secu back there to talk to security or talk to Nottingham Hill person is my assumption. Yeah. I'd start with Nottingham. Let's do Nottingham then. They all seem suspicious. Maybe she can feed into the conversation. I don't know, what do you want? Um, I don't know, we just need to talk to people. Okay. Sure you want to interrogate mode and move? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. We didn't scan that place first. You enter a shop full of antiques from different periods. Smiling woman, 53, who's right here. And a man who's looking busy, 49. Oh, classic, creepy looking busy oh. man. No, go to her first. Oh, lady. I have a feeling that you're not here to buy antiques, are you? Is what she says. That's it? That's what Wait, she says. evidence. Scarab. I always wondered how much it would be worth on the market just out of curiosity. I've heard that this jewel remained hidden for so long because a curse would kill anyone who touches it. Not immediately, of course, but, gee, but later, when you least expect it. Okay. All right, let's talk to him. Well, is there um, anything else she would know before we on. waste the time? Hang the emails. Moving? Computer devices, I think. It was, talk to her about yeah. The yeah. The email, the email. What, what, the email. Yes, I sent several offers to the museum. You never know when an opportunity might arise, but they ignored me altogether. Let's try him. Mm, paper? No, no, papers were just letters about the curse from this guy. The curse. No, he didn't send the letters. He donated the thing. All right. Harvey is the best at finding unexpected works of art. He's standing right there. You should talk to him directly. Before we do that, maybe she knows some of these people. Maybe she knows Amy Davis. Well, she would, because she emailed Amy Davis. Well, she's the curator at the British Museum, but it seems she can't even keep an eye on her own exhibition. Poor thing, you see my antiques never get lost. See this golden figurine? I have a special price for police officers. Harvey Griggs, 49, looks at his watch and then leaves the shop in a hurry. Someone's afraid of police officers. <gasps> yep, she just nonchalantly told him to leave. Mm. I don't think, no, we, we already scanned him from her. I had the feeling he was going to make an offer, but received oh. a phone call and then left before you guys arrived. But I heard him speaking on the phone earlier. He thought that I wouldn't be able to hear him if he went out on the doorstep. He was talking about a certain address on the docks. P. Oh. I'd mm. say the police now owes me a favor for that, right? This is how this woman speaks for so, some reason. Mm. I would say we have to move him to the docks. Move him to the docks, yeah. Okay, um, anything else for her? I think that's it. Does she know either of those two guys? Well, 
Not really, unless you mean security. Just in case she's in on it with the security guy. Security guard with the stupid look on his face. Yep, that's the one I never talked to. <laughs> uh, go to that guy then. We're chasing down this man who just ran out of the store. Yeah, let's go to the docks. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, Lilia. You've been a strange person. As you arrive, the address provided, you see the body of the man lying next to a car. The vehicle's lights are on and the engine is running. The only witness is an old man living on the streets around the docks, number 38. You can talk to him or investigate the Wait, scene. Wait, he's dead? Yep, he just got hit by a car. And it's all our fault for asking questions. This is what asking questions does, everybody. Uh, you receive a phone call from Police Chief Carter. I've just been informed of your findings. Harvey Griggs was a collector with the recent entrance, interest in ancient art. His death might be related to your current case. Find Word. out who killed him, and if there are any connections between the theft and the murder, then report to So me. this went from a theft to actually a murder investigation? Yep. Okay, we, we need, need to We can search the scene. We need to... Should we search the scene first? Yeah, I guess we can search the scene first. Search the scene. Dun, dun, dun. No. Oh, oh, look, the scarab. The scarab. We found the scarab. All right, well, that's going to be jewelry. Bullets. 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 Oh, boy. There's a lot here. Car. Briefcase. Briefcase. Briefcase phone. Cell phone. Uh, bottles. bottles. Mm, barrels. Oh, windows. Wait, hang on. Go back to the window real quick. Ah! All right, it looks like he was uh, shot, not hit with the bottle, right? Correct. Yeah, he was shot. So sure. we're gonna need to go to forensics. We got a lot of information here. All right, we've got probably jewelry for the scarab, right? Bottles. Well, we already have a scarab specifically, 005. Well, Scanning bottles. That is a picture of the scarab, remember? Bunch of empty bottles, few of them could be broken. Could one be a murder weapon? We don't think so, but okay. Communication devices for the phone. Phone is still working. You found a clue. We're gonna need to take that to what's his face. Wait. Firearms for forensics. Find a couple of bullet casings, but no gun. Jewelry. Jewelry. Yeah. What was the jewelry? The oh. scarab? Is that what that would be? Yeah. So jewel of Queen Nicticris. <laughs> You found a stolen jewel, refer to O5 for analysis. Okay, and so we now have the real jewel and right. not, so we don't actually need this because we're gonna refer to this. Correct, we refer to five oh, instead. Okay. When you pick it up, it feels strangely light. Ooh, someone's pulled something out of it. Further inspection reveals a small hidden compartment, but it's empty. We need further analysis. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Um, blood, right? Yes, yes. blood and organs. Yeah, that's pleasant. Yeah, we'll probably have to put a little warning on this one. <laughs> Blood is fresh and all over the place. That's the only thing you can tell without further al al analysis. Al analysis. <laughs> nope. All right. Okay, Um. anything else? Food, footprints and traces, vehicles. 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 Yeah, there is vehicles. That's right, vehicle's a big one. Uh, Sorry. I don't know. An expensive car. Could it belong to the victim? Most likely. Medicine and drugs, gardening tools, decoration, melee weapons, furniture, cords, restraining devices, keys, and locks. Would the briefcase count as a lock? Maybe. Maybe. What else we got? Tableware, photos and cameras, kitchen utensils, sport items, books and magazines, office materials. Office materials. Briefcase. Okay, so we're saying office materials count for We'll try case. both and see what one shows up. Okay, um, bedding, clothes, animals, bags, bags? Ooh. Yes, bags, maybe bags, put it down. Just choose all the ones that seem to make Games sense. Games and toys, plants, toiletries and hygiene, flammable objects, trash, boxes, packages, signs and symbols. Bags, let's go bags in fashion, I guess. Yeah, let's try that Is that going to be the briefcase? We'll find out. 
Solid hard side briefcase! Yes. Okay, so it's definitely this. not empty, unfortunately. It's locked. It's locked. Do we need keys and locks for that then? Or do we just send it to the hacker? Uh, probably send it to someone. I don't know if a hacker can figure Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, talk so, to the old man. Let's talk to the dude. What'd you see, dude? The smell of alcohol fills the air as you get close to the man. Oh boy, what happened here? I could have died. That's okay, it? so he's literally so drunk. Yeah, I've seen this man here before. He usually parks in some remote spot on the dock and meets with other blokes. With who? I don't know, but I know better than to stick me nose in other people's business. Okay. Heard a gunshot, ran to see what happened, too late. Man was lying dead in his own blood. Other one was like shooting at me like crazy, so I ran again. And that's it. Wait, Shooting the other one was the car. How do you look? I didn't see him clearly, you know? Me vision was blurred. Yeah, Wait, so go back. Second one. Man was lying dead. And the other one was shooting at me like crazy. Oh, okay. So there's two people. Unless he's pretending to be drunk. How do we figure that one out? Um, I have no idea. No, I think he's drunk. Do you know this lady? Um, that seems like a waste of time. Maybe. But maybe not. No, it is. But what if it's not? But what if it is? The app doesn't even know what to do with this. It's such yep. a yep. Yeah, don't waste even. Waste of time. Come on, Jamin. I'm about to solve the mystery, you guys. No, I, you're not. I've already got, you know, theories and stuff. So. Okay. All right, where are we going? Um, I think we need to... Or do we need to ask him about any of these things? Ask him about uh, the briefcase, which is bags, bags, and, bags fashion. and fashion. Bags and fashion. Sorry the briefcase on the floor, but I didn't want to go near the body. I don't like dead people. Okay, he's useless. Let's leave. Yeah. No, we're asking him about the bottles. I guess they would be mine. <gasps> Mystery solved. One mystery at a time. Yeah, we didn't need to scan those to figure that You're out. You're welcome, you guys. All right, um, right, let's go back to... Well, actually, let's talk to these people and send some stuff off, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Criminology or what? Uh, let's do the phone with the hacker. Or autopsy. Might want to figure out what happened to the guy first. Well, he was shot by a gun. Yeah. Well, fine. You guys are no fun. I mean, if you want to go to the hacking hang and on, intelligence, on, is that on, what we decided? Hang on. Or do we uh, want to do the lab for blood work? Uh. Let's ask the criminologist about the guy who's dead. Criminologist. All right, so we're studying the guy who's dead. Harvey Gregg spent a few years in prison for robbery after organizing one of the most ambitious thefts of, of paintings in history. It was one of the police chief's first cases back when he was just an inspector. Griggs paid his debt to society and was successful at becoming an art dealer, a tough one who gets things done no matter what the cost. Okay. Ask him about her. What you know about this lady? This lady doesn't like questions. Come on, lady. She doesn't like scanning. That was what I meant. Oh. Scan! Why don't you exist in the system, lady? I have questions for you. No, about you. She is ruthless when it comes to doing business, but she just wants to keep the antique shop going. And you have to be tough to survive on that market. Okay. Let's um, talk about this guy. You actually, wanna... I'm thinking maybe the security guard. Ooh. Sebastian's loyal and dutiful. He takes his job seriously, but he tends to be a protective role with women and rarely says no to them. Interesting. Mm. What about Amy? What you know about this lady? Come on, it's just a QR code. You can do this, I believe in you. Come on, Meyer can do this better than you. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Yeah. 
Amy's an ambitious, devoted to her job. She recently took over the Department of Ancient Egypt and Sudan a Museum, which gave her a career boost. Unfortunately, the break-in could easily destroy all her efforts. That makes her furious. Okay. What about, you know, I'm doing it. I'm asking. Really? I'm Why asking. are you asking the old guy? He's honest, good-hearted, even though life hasn't been easy on him. He has nothing to lose and no reason to lie. Mystery solved, guys. No. They found us another clue. Why are you so, why do you like the drug guy so much? Do we need to ask about the guy who donated it? I think we should. Okay, let's mm. ask about guy who donated it real quick. Guy who donated. Unfortunately, I can't establish a profile for a dead person. Maybe our hacker or doctor could check his background. Wait, what? <laughs> Did we miss something somewhere? Uh, we might have. Well, he donated. He donated. Right? Maybe he so, donated it when he died. I guess yeah. it was donated in his will. Hacker could look into it, though, he said. Weird. Okay. Um. Wait. Maybe this guy's I, in on I, it. That, that well, that's the chief. The police chief. He, he investigated this guy at the beginning. Brilliant man who knows a lot about investigations, mm -hmm. criminology. All right. I'm just saying, he's in on Go it by. with that guy. He. No, he's not. He that's, killed him. That's false. He's going to turn in the police chief. That's false. <laughs> okay, um... We call that a red herring, James. Exactly. It's a bird case. Uh, firearms to forensics, maybe? Well, dang it, what's the... What's the mocking, Jason? There, there it is. Thank you. All right. I haven't heard that in a long time. Anyway, Ever tell you my story? Have I told yes. you my story? I, I mean, told I, you, story. you tell your story, Jamin. Me and Casey were in the theater once, and Mockingjay just, the trailer finished, and it ends with, goes black, and just, <laughs> right? And then the next one was like some stupid trailer, like a comedy, like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. It goes black at the end, and I'm just like, <laughs> and the, whole, the, the theater. whole theater started laughing. <laughs> you had to be there, it was great. Well done, you found what you do it. when we weren't looking. It, all I did was scan that. She said, well done for finding it. Okay, uh, uh, discovered a hidden compartment in the jewel. There's a second one which is untouched. Inside are two old papers. One is in English, the other is in hieroglyphs. Ooh. The en English document includes the emblems of the Hawkster family on it. The paper is quite old, maybe 100 years old, more or less. It reads as follows. The true heritage is in the old place. As for the hieroglyphs, I can't decipher them, but keep those if you, if it can help. Number 10. You didn't do a very good girl voice, but okay. Um, <laughs> are you telling me my voice doesn't sound like a girl's voice? No, I just said it wasn't a very good girl's voice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you found a clue. Okay, what else do we need her to Where do? Where was that clue? Inside the bug? Yes, or it was inside the scarab. Um, can we do... I thought a scarab was a sword. Uh, should we... Should we do blood? Does Isn't this a scarab? blood go to the doctor or to her? I don't know. Scabbard, that's what I'm thinking of. Is that a sword? A scabbard is a sword, but it's not That's like what that. I'm thinking of, same, anyway, same letters. Okay, um, we should have her look at the briefcase, right? You can try it. What is she? Bags and fashion. Physical evidence? All right. It is physical evidence. There are some fingerprints on it that belong to the victim. 49, we already have them over there. Managed to break open the briefcase. Ah, we managed to break open the briefcase and it contains several files of papers, photos, and dossiers. Excuse you. <laughs> Interestingly, <laughs> on one of them is written the name Cunningham. The file contains <gasps> photos of several different <laughs> antiques that were stolen over the years with descriptions and black market prices. The last one is the photo of the jeweled scarab. All right. What about firearms? That's kind of physical. Uh, the bullets, yes. It's probably better for... A few casings. There are 12 millimeter bullets from an old pistol. There are no fingerprints, of course. Let's do we blood. Don't have the pistol. Blood and vehicles. I'd do next. Oh, vehicles would be good, yeah. Blood and vehicles. The fingerprints of Harvey Griggs are everywhere. He drove this car, that's for sure, so it's his car. Unless he was freaking out and like touched everything and battled to the death. Let's try blood. 
can she do blood or do we send that to the doctor? It's physical evidence. Lots of blood. All of it belongs to the victim. Okay. What about the scabbard? Was yeah, there any we fingerprints? Did, that. did you do that again? No, like we that was that, <laughs> that was, was where like, we started with this. Yes. Oh. That was how we found the papers. Very well. Um there haven't been any fingerprints yet. Well, I mean there's fingerprints on the car, but let's we go to hacker. To. Okay. Hacker. What about what about the phone real quick? What about the phone? Or do we just do that at the hacker? I thought that was gonna be the hacker. Yeah, it's just Probably at the hacker. hacker. IT department. Communication devices. Nope, oh, there you go. Oh. I like to think he sounds more like, hi. Long to Harvey Griggs, can track a couple of recent phone calls to an address in Chelsea called Hawkminster Manor. Hawk, Hawkster Manor, you say? Hmm, hmm. They're in alphabetical order, Jamie. Oh, F. F. You're looking that for doesn't F. help me. Looking for F. F. I don't know the alphabet, okay? Thanks for calling out in front of the world, gosh! All right. That's also interesting is that the GPS shows that several times he's been near a certain house in Lewisham. Jay, Ugh. it can't be a coincidence. H-I-L? Is that L? Okay. This is getting so much bigger. Um, what else can he do? Did you do the phone? That is literally what we just did, yeah. yes. Did you do the papers? Wait, can you do, is there any GPS? Wait, he might be able to. Do the, no, he opened No, we up. need to do the papers. He might be able to crack the, crack the. Hieroglyphics? Yeah. Hieroglyphic, man. Not sure my programming, dang it. Did you do the phone? Yes, Jamin. Wait, what about vehicle? Is there a GPS in the vehicle? Well, we got GPS from the phone, didn't we? Yeah, yeah never mind. What about high-tech devices? That was the security system. Was mm. there more high-tech devices here? No. No, it was just the phone. What about the scabbard? That's, no. Scarab. <laughs> right. All right, so do you want to go to the next spot? Well, what about the... Uh, no, because we need to talk to the doctor about the blood and whatnot. Autopsy. But we already know he's dead. I want to know what happened. He got I'm shot. I'm sorry that I am alone in trying to solve this mystery. On my birthday, no less. To be fair, we did send the blood to the forensic we Just go to the doctor and ask him about the blood. <laughs> This he's, is good for all of us. No, he's gonna. I don't. He's dead. I don't think we need to do that. No, I think we should. I don't think we need to do that, Jamin. He's the guy. He's Jamin. the autopsy guy. It, it's no, not. No, you no. go him, and then you do this, and I he'll don't. tell you here's where he was shot and how. Let's go for it, just because it's his birthday. <sighs> Since it's I'm your gonna, birthday, I'm gonna milk that for the rest of this game. On my own game, on my own birthday. <laughs> The victim was killed no longer than an hour before police revived John. See, that's face. that's new. We a didn't know that. Single 12 millimeter round straight single. through the chest. Definitely shot at close range, so the victim must have known the killer. He bled out quickly as the bullet tore through major blood vessels. Well, it's a good thing we checked then, isn't it? No, we already knew. Blood and organs. Blood and organs. It's gonna say the same thing. Blood and organs. If our score is bad, then we blame it on Jamie. Yeah, totally Jamie. We're on easy mode. How bad can it be? Medically speaking, I can't say much about this. What are you? Medically Boom. speaking, you can't Boom. talk about blood and organs? Boom! I don't know. It's just blood and organs. What does that have to do with the medical field? Idiot. That's about blood, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Where do we go next? Do we want to go check out those places? I'd say F, because J is a location. We don't know where, but he stopped there more often. I don't follow his logic, but whatever. Eleanor Hollows. 22, 27, 46. Hall Ellen McRibby. And Lord Hawkster's daughter and her husband Nicholas greet you when you arrive at the manor. Wait, 27 already out. 22, 27, 46. Oh. Isn't he dead? Yes. Oh, no, it's, it's his, his daughter. daughter. It's yeah. his daughter. El Eleonora. 
Is that a real name? Eleonora? Hello, Eleonora. All right, and her husband, Nicholas, greet us at the manor. Let us speak with them. Ooh, Wolverine. Got married to that lady. Woman tries to avoid eye contact and asks you to talk no. to her husband only. Doesn't sound suspicious at all. That's very suspicious. May I know the reason for your visit? Um, the scarab. We're here to talk about the scabbard. The stolen jewel! If only the old man hadn't given everything to the museum, I guess it would have never happened! Ooh. Tell um, us about the old on. man. Oh, okay. Have you ever heard about guy. number 47? 49? The news about the collection got out. Lots of different people were asking whether there would uh, be other things we would sell. He was one of them, some shady antique broker I didn't want to speak with. Dead? Probably messed up with someone who was way above him. That's my opinion, of course. Still, the man is dead, and he certainly shouldn't have ended like this. Uh, that's skin, old man. Tell us about your dad, or your dad-in-law. My father-in-law, Edmund, was a wonderful man. We all still miss him. We have still gotten over his, haven't got over his passing. My wife, Ella Nora, which is a name. It's been hard for her to bear. Now it's my duty to take even greater care of the family and the estate. Okay, um, do we ask him about anything else? Oh, ask him about the papers that were found inside of it. Don't we need to ask about the phone? Isn't that why we're here? Wait, no. is it the papers no, or is it the other papers? No, it's this one. I'm completely unable to decipher your cryptic message. Okay. Phone. No, what is he gonna know? No, stop it. We came over here because we get phone calls from this area. Oh, you're right. Thank you very much. Harvey Griggs kept bothering us with his calls. He wanted to know if we had anything else to sell. We do not. Okay. Why won't your wife talk to us? Eh? Eh? Yeah, I just asked about the wife. Go for it. That's my wife. Please do not bother her. She's been crushed by the recent passing of her father and still hasn't recovered. Ask him about the shady antique stealer. I believe we haven't met. Okay, well. Thanks for wasting that time. <laughs> Mr. Blood? <laughs> That was the medical guys like, what does blood have to do with my job? Let's go, Jay. Is there anything else we can do here? We could talk to the South lady Park again. Let's listen. bother the no, lady. No, stop no, it, no, no, we have to bother her. You're Try wasting it. the time. No, it says sometimes you gotta double no. double up on people. It yeah, told no. us that. You guys aren't listening to the game at all. <laughs> Find a small house squeezed between two modern 52. duplexes. A middle-aged man, number 52, opens the door. Ah, oh, it's the butler. Mm. It's always the butler. Higgs. Yes, is there anything I can help you with? Tell us about... Um, Stafford. That, that guy? Yep. That guy. That guy. Tell us about that guy. He's a nasty guy. He used to approach me regularly when I was still working at the museum. Oh? He's always making business deals, offering his skills to rich anonymous collectors of art and antiques. I even heard he was a thief when he was young. Okay, so this guy used to work at the museum. That, All right, that, I want to know more about, about this girl. Oh, ask him. No, 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 no. Ask him about her. Ask him about her. Okay. Tell us about Amy Davis. Amy Davis, Amy Davis, that oh. wicked witch would do anything to humiliate me. I leave the museum because of her. She's ignorant, doesn't deserve to work at the museum. I just hate her. As Charles becomes furious about your questions, a young woman, number 11, comes out and tries to calm him down. She suggests you speak with her instead. Alrighty, let's speak with her then. Tell me. Wait, don't you have to say oh. goodbye first? Goodbye well, first. I kind of want to know about her though. Quit. Why is she quit. quiet? Why is she so quiet? Because her dad, dad died. died. She's making okay. it up. Talk to the new girl. What? No, no, the new girl. Oh, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I scanned the wrong one. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to forgive my father. He's been on the edge lately. Please give me a moment. In the meantime, maybe I could answer your questions. Yeah. Elizabeth Cunningham. Ask about her. Tell yeah. me about this lady. Amy Davis. My father lost his job because of her. He was forced to take early retirement. Of course, my dad is a difficult person, but sometimes I wonder if she could have done this on purpose, maybe to take his old position for herself. Excuse Security. Me. Sebastian, we sort of dated a while ago. Ooh. Ooh. 
but it's over now. We don't see each other anymore. Except for when you robbed the bank last week. It's, it's a museum, not a bank. Yeah, well. Anyway, ask her about the scarab. About the scarab lady? Hmm? The jewel was stolen. My father will tell you that this is the curse of Pharaohs. He was just highly valuable for some rich collectors. Some people do anything to get expensive items just so they can feel a bit better. Ask her? Oh, wait. There's a middleman in town who deals in antiques. Harvey Griggs, 49. Yep, we are, he's, he's dead. He's dead. You should ask him some questions. He can usually be found at the antique shop. Yep. We did this so out of order that... No, 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 we did this fine. We killed him. He didn't have to die after all. Um, ask her about these papers. Papers. Yeah, my father, he's kind of obsessed with this curse thing. So he's the one that wrote the papers in the museum. Ooh. Let's ask about the hieroglyphics then. Yeah, do it. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I don't know anything about that, dang it. Well, way to go, it Will. It was Olivia. your idea, Jamin. <laughs> I didn't expect you to pick me up on it. Uh, you guys reject okay. everything I say all the time. <laughs> The bottles. No. 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 <laughs> Those are literally useless. <laughs> okay. The police office. No. Come on. One of these things has to be the police office. No. You never expect it. That's not a thing. Okay. Um. What do we do next? Ask about this girl. We I'm need to you, go I back. I want to know about Hang this on. girl. We need to go back and talk to the security guard because we never talked to him in the first place. Mm. Fine, but I'm upset about no, it. No, well, look, there you go. And that's when we left the Cunningham's flat to go all the way across town to Bloomsbury. Member of the staff leads you to the burgled exhibition hall yes. where you meet Amy Davis. You can investigate the crime scene. Talking to this guy. There's no one corresponding to this description here. What? Are you happy with yourself? No. We've walked all the way across town. Where is he? To talk to a man who doesn't exist. But he does. He's a security guard. Wait, okay, hang on. Ask, ask, ask her. Go back, go back, talk to her. Because I don't think we've actually talked to her. But yeah, I think we did. I don't remember. Because his fingerprints were on the hammer. Right. Oh, he's at his house then. So we need to ask her about him. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Find out where he lives so we can go talk to him. Of course, ask me anything. Jack yeah, guy. Tell us about your boyfriend, who's that the, boyfriend the, of that the, girlfriend. Not her, no. She's no, not was, the one that dated him. That's what I'm saying. They're in on it together. No, I think she and him are in on it, trying to... Sebastian is one of our security guards. I consider him a real professional. He was on duty on the night of the robbery. I'll call him if you'd like me to ask him some questions. Yes. Amy makes a short call, and a couple of minutes later, a tall, good-looking man in uniform appears in the exhibition hall, number 48, which is him. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to talk to him. Now talk to him. Sebastian Hill, British Museum Security, how can I help? Ask him about the uh, daughter. Daughter? Tell us about your girlfriend. She's the daughter of the crazy professor who used to work here. We dated for a while, but she dumped me around the time her father was fired. I think I saw her with that rich guy, number 49, <gasps> who collects antiques. Oh. Okay. Hanging out with our murder victim, are you, number 11? Okay, um, I have theories. Go on. Hold on, can we have him do the high-tech devices? Ask him about the security system? Yeah. Yeah. Security. High-tech devices. Alarm goes off if the code isn't entered within 20 seconds after entering the zone. Only the museum staff know the code and we change it every month. So, one of the people from the museum are in on this. Probably the security guard who was on duty, that guy. Right. He He stole it for her. She sold it to him. Right. Killed him. But then lost the scarab. It didn't grab the scarab because it's not about the scarab. It's about revenge. For the father being fired? Yes. To make her look bad for what she did to her dad. Are you one of those people that when you're watching a TV show you know like the ending every time? Not every time. You people are the worst. <laughs> so wait, where's I'm the also weapon? Really good where's the gun? The gun. I don't know. We need to find the the, the, the weapon. It's I in her house. No. At the bottom of Nottington Hill Lake. 
Ask him about the firearm. Ugh, firearms. He dated her, he might know if she has that gun. So I can't help you with that. Um. How about computer devices? Does he know if you send an email with the That's her computer. Password. Then. Communication devices. Communication devices? No. No. We need to ask her about communication devices. Mm. I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready to talk to this guy and tell him what I think. But I don't know about you guys. If we find tell out him the first. answer and we're wrong, we lose. It's the end. But is it time? Are I don't we know. There? Have we arrived? At I, I mean, I, I don't know that I have enough proof for my theory yet. But also, I mean, everything is. Could we could we ask anything. her about the firearm? Let's ask her about so the So because she's smiling deviously? No, it's because she has the motive. All right, going back to this lady. Well, you got, yeah, perfect. You arrive at the Cunningham's again, the game adds. We talked to this lady, it's a mess and she has dark circles under her eyes. Interesting. <gasps> I'm sorry, I just got out of bed, what do you need? You liar, you've been busy killing nope, people firearms. again. firearms, firearms. Is this your gun, ma'am? I don't know anything about that. I want to know about this lady still. I'm asking. Oh, I'm doing it. I don't know about the howls. Dang See, it. it's not helpful. Okay, um, ask her about... Did I don't know. pay off the oh, wait. The what about the high-tech devices? Does she know the alarm code? No, they Why change it every month. Why would she tell us that? I don't know. DIY tools? Ask her about the security guard again. Security guard. See if it gets her to crack. Sword dated a while ago. I'm gonna okay. ask again. Sword dated a while okay. ago. Hmm. Should we ask about him again? Now Maybe? that we know that they're together or something? Dead? I. Why would I know who would have done it? As I said, he gave the impression of someone who was involved in not so legal stuff. That's all. Let's do it again. Make her crack. Dead? Nope, I, why would I? <laughs> okay. Um, what about that guy? If she did it, he would have. She would have seen him. She might sound weird about it, right? Try it. Wouldn't we ask him about her? Can't say I know much about them. Okay. Um. His eyes were fuzzy. That's what she's, he's gonna say. Cause he was drunk. We should. I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't know what other proof we can get. Guess we're going to Chief. Who did it? He's in on it. He's not in on it. He's not in on it. She does sound I think super. You have to go to Scotland Yard first. Yeah. She does sound sketchy now that her eyes are tired. You go to Chief for your final report. Are we ready to solve the case? You about to solve it? Let's, Let's try it. Do it. Okay. All right. Who, Who stole, stole the, the jewel? jewel from the museum? We're saying. No. No. Her. Security right? guard. Oh. Right. Right. <laughs> do we know what we're saying anymore? Her. Well. Yeah. Because she could have got the code from him. I think she stole it with his help. Oh, okay. He stole it. No, no, no. He had it. She stole it with his help. Sold it to him. Then someone killed him. She did. What if she did? Or he did. Oh, what if none of them? What if he killed him? What? She doesn't even know who he is. Right, she doesn't need to. What? <laughs> He's mad that the family jewel. I have so many questions now. I thought we knew what we were doing. I think I know less than I thought I did. Well, now we're in it. What All right, are we doing? scan her. Who stole the jewel? We're saying her yes. instead of him? Uh-huh. See, I think it's him. Uh, I mean, he had it. He it had it at, with him. It was at the crime. Unless one of them are framing him. No, I think she sold it to him. All right, we're just going with Olivia's instincts now. Why was the jewel stolen? To make her look bad. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. In there. <laughs> Weird. I'm not sure how to I don't like. even think it wants to accept that. Ah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, we shouldn't have gone in yet. Scabbard. Uh, the jewel was stolen because... Revenge. Is there Revenge, something somewhere? I don't know how to... You're missing something in the story. Keep investigating, it says. All right, we are okay, not done. Okay, we are. Now. Cool. Mm. Um... Yeah. I don't know what to do next. I just know what my theory is. Nope, I still think he stole it. But... With their help. Who do we talk to next? Who do we, what do we do? What do we do? Let's criminologist her. Okay. All right. Let's criminologize people. La 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 la. Calm cares a lot about her father. She really wants the best for him. At the same time, she's not quite daddy's girl. She has her own secrets. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, Harvey Marshall? She stole the jewel. Still think she did. He has thievery in his past. I'm asking about this girl again. Wait, do we already do that? I don't know if we've asked a criminologist about her. Known well in the world of London nobility. She does a lot of charity work, but as soon as her husband appears next to her, she withdraws instantly. I want to talk to her, you'll have to get rid of the husband. Maybe it would help to call him to Scotland Yard for questioning. Wait, we can question people at Scotland Yard it instead? It was the quiet person I said oh all along. Oh my gosh. Nobody ever listens to Jamin though. Blood and organs. We're right. already there. So, so now we're there. Do we just we like scan, scan people? No, no. Oh, I guess that works. Go check with Chief Officer if you need any help. Uh, scan him? Scan him. No, 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 him. What? All right. Go check with Chief Officer. Okay, so let's talk to the Chief Officer and see how we bring people here. Need any help? Um, now scan him. Suppose I could call him Scotland Yard, but I can't keep him here any longer than two hours. Do whatever you plan, you'll have to be quick. All right, he's going. He moves. There, it's done. Okay. I gotta leave. Now go to here. <sighs> Driver of the Manor again, greeted by 22 and 46. Eleonora and Nicholas. No, nowhere Eleanora. to be seen. Nicholas so talk to, to her. Seen. Now All we right. can talk to Eleonora. Tell us the truth. Yes, I guess there's no harm in talking to you, right? No, there's not. Tell us okay. about your weird husband. Why'd you call him a ghost Colin Yard? He has nothing to do with those recent events, right? My husband tends to get nervous, but he's had so much on his mind lately. I try to be understanding. Ask her about this guy up here. Tell us about this guy up here. The guy is dead. Works as an art hunter and keeps out for deals. Wealthy people he's acquainted with my husband. They talk from time to time. I don't like mm. this man. He is appalling. Okay. Um, ask her about the scarab. Oh, we should be paying attention to the two hour limit that we have. Right. For my father, it's always been a symbol of our family origins. Did you know that the estate was originally in Greenwich, which is M? He used to call it the old place. Collection used to be there, but the estate was falling into ruins and my ancestors had to move here. My father used to tell me stories about grandpa hiding the treasure and about the Egyptian curse. I believed them. Should we ask, ask about her this lady? about the papers that were inside the scarab. Tell us about your papers. The old place is the ruined estate in Greenwich, the true heritage. Could it really be the treasure of my father? He used to tell stories about that. I always believed that stories were just made up, like the curse. I don't know anything about Egyptian writing. You should ask someone more educated in ancient cultures about that. You know, I about to have to ask uh, the old curator about it. That makes sense. Anyway, um, okay, what else do we want to ask her? Did you do it? Uh, her? I she doesn't doubt know that. her, but unless Maybe, she's lying. Hang on. Um, either her dad or the person who's currently at the museum. Ask her about the woman from the museum. So ask her about her? Yeah. Amy Davis? Yes. She's curator, has taken care of my father's collection. It's sad she couldn't protect it. I thought better of her. Okay. What well, about him? Uh, she knows people from over there. Maybe she knows the ex boyfriend. 
Yeah. Why is this one so hard to scan all the time? Fred, I don't know this person. Yeah, okay. Um, remember, we only have two hour limit. What if we ask her about... Are these the people who called all the time? Just communication devices? Maybe, yeah. Fred, I can't help you with that. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else we can get from her. The fact that we got Greenwich from her is good yeah. though. Yeah. Do we ask about the... Yes, we did. Scarab. We did. Um, so ask her out. about her father before we leave. Yeah. Which might end the conversation, but... My father, I really can't talk about him yet. Did we yeah. ask about her husband? Yes, we did. You did. Did we ask her about her? I don't know what well, we can do. Fifth Earl of Daventry. Okay, um, I think goodbye. Cool. All right, now let's go to Greenwich. Greenwich! You arrive at the ruins of an old noble estate. At first, it looks like the place is abandoned and desolate. A few holes have been dug here and there. You see a group of children playing a shovel with a shovel. Then you notice you run away. A little girl, 14, is the only one who is brave enough to stay and face you. She looks to be about eight years old. Girl walks towards you and gives you a fierce look, waiting for your reaction. Oh, she looks straight up fierce. The fiercest. That smile kind of reminds me of Jericho. You're from the police, right? Mom doesn't like me speaking with strangers, but she didn't say anything about speaking with policemen. We were just playing pirates and digging a hole to find treasure with the shovel we found. <laughs> we weren't ones digging those other holes. I don't know if I'm Southern or or British. Okay, so someone has been here looking Digging. for the scarab. I... Let's ask her about the gun. Um, no. <laughs> Mama um, doesn't like me playing with hey, the gun. Ask her about the scarab just to find out if she knows anything, but probably not. Tell me about and then the we scarab, can lady. Say goodbye to her and look around. The treasure. We knew there was a treasure, but you knew where it is. Okay. Goodbye. Math Mathilda is her name. She spells it's it wrong. Matilda. It says Matt Hilda. It's Matilda. I abstain from answering. What else? Okay, she's she not going to know hieroglyphics? anything. She's not, she's not going to know anything else. Okay? What if the papers Just are made by kids her. as like a treasure map and only the kids understand? No. No. Why does nobody like my ideas? Because usually they're bad. <laughs> Say goodbye to the child. We just got here. Yeah, she's a child. She doesn't know anything. She gave us she the information we need, and that's that someone was digging holes looking for treasure. Ask her about that guy. You just told me to stop asking her stuff. Yeah, I know, but then I thought maybe she's seen him around. Yeah, You're yeah. from the police, yes, right? Yes. Ask about the dead guy. That's the spooky man we saw him this morning. He's looking for something. Hey, maybe he's looking for the pirate's treasure. We hid, but he hurt us so much that we had to run away. That was so much fun. Oh, Matt Hilda. Uh, see if she knows this guy. Do you know? That's the shovel man. He came here not so long ago with that shovel. Oh, nine. From his car and went looking for something in a hurry, but he didn't find anything. When he heard us, he jumped and ran away so fast he forgot his shovel. Ha ha ha. Interesting Gardening how Olivia tools. was completely wrong about everything. All right. Excuse you, I'm the one that said we should talk to her about these two people. What else? One of them at least. Oh, he had gloves. Maybe he didn't want to get dirty. Oh, so you're not going to find prints on it. Uh, if he was wearing gloves, there wouldn't be prints on a gun either. <gasps> Wait, what if he buried the gun? That would be interesting, but how do we find out? Ask her about... Do we ask her the about gun? the shovel? No, hang on. Do we ask her about the shovel? Is it worth it? Yeah. Might as well. Of course you can have it. It's not really yours. It's the shovel man who left it. He was looking for something, but then he went mad. Just threw it away and drove off. Gardening tools. Cool. Okay. Um. Ask, oh, we need to ask about this lady. Just to prove old theories. No, nah, mom wouldn't want me to speak with someone like that. What about this guy? Um, no. no. We've no. just completely left your old theories behind, have we? No, 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 no. Those theories are still in place. It's just the child isn't going to know about them because the child is from this place, not Greenwich. What's wrong with the people from Greenwich, Olivia? I didn't you have say a problem with those wrong of Greenwich? With her. She said she's a child who doesn't know the things we need. 
Say goodbye to the child. We got a shovel. What else do we do? We go and bury. Wait. Wait. Uh, scan the gardening tool. Yeah, if we scan the shovel, does that do anything here? The estate is huge. If you want to dig, it would be better for you to know where, where to, to dig. dig. Exactly. Scan. Do we need to ask her about Greenwich? No. Okay. Scan, scan these documents. You can't look for clues in here. Okay, okay. Oh, we could take him somewhere and look for clues. Does she know what's on those documents? She knows stuff about ancient stuff. Well, I think we need to ask him, him? about the documents. All right. Y'all find out it's just this girl. You arrive at Cunningham's again for no one. No, 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 she's no, crying him. more. We need to we need to talk to him first. Mm. You again, you're not going to talk about unpleasant subjects again, are you? Okay, we won't talk about that girl, dang. True heritage is the lost treasure of the Hawksters. That's also cursed, which is why it's hidden in the first place. My research proved it! The old place is a Hawkshire's ruined estate that was abandoned in the 19th century. You can find that's what's left of it in Greenwich. Uh -huh. I can decipher the hieroglyphs, by the way. They mean under, under the, the stone, stone hawk. hawk. That's it. I have no idea how that will help you. So, so we, we have, have to go, go there back and to Greenwich. Find the stone. Thanks, old cranky man. Okay. You return to the ruined estate. Nothing has changed. Matt Hilda is still wandering around the ruins. You split up a search around the state and you find something that's a stone hawk. One of the few surviving walls displays the Hawkshire's crest. You start to dig, hoping this is the location the cryptic message was pointing to. You keep digging a deeper and deeper hole, and just as you're about to give up, a shovel hits something hard. Among the dirt and rotten wood, you see shiny golden coins and jewelry. You've found the long lost treasure of the Hawkster family. If you think you are ready, report your findings to Scotland Yard. Mm. Um, well, we found the treasure, but I don't know if Has that's... it been dug here for decades, though? Must have been. Then how would that solve our... Did this just become a pirate hunt? <laughs> so, a... so he wants the treasure that is, was his, mm -hmm. that's been apparently left there. He uh, talked with him to try to get the scarab. So I think he stole the scarab. And he talked to her to get the security code so that he could turn off the security system to get the scarab. And then was going to try to sell that back to him. So in the end, it's all just the dead guy's fault. Um, Seems too no obvious. Sure. We are uneasy. Let's be sure. honest. I'm no longer sure. It was Matt Hilda. <laughs> no, okay. it was not. I was the pawn of everything. It took them all out. Yes, I did. We need to talk to him and ask him about the shovel. All right, let's do it. I think, maybe. <gasps> The game thinks we know the answer. They greet us. And husband is there. What's up, hubs? Well, I know the reason for your visit. Ask him about the It's a tool. shovel, you dweebus. We found your shovel. I've hired people who do the gardening work that keep the manor and its surroundings in good shape. No, they don't. That's not what the shovel's from. Ask him about firearms? the little girl. Well, actually, yeah, firearms. It might be his gun. I never liked guns, you know. No, I doubt that. Matt Hilda? Yeah. I think the game doesn't always know how to answer it. <laughs> Why are they scanning Matt Hilda? <laughs> I believe we haven't met, is what uh, my answer is. Okay, um, ask him about this guy one more time. Okay. Well, he's got a collection now. Different people are asking okay. whether we were blah, 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 dead. <sighs> Should we go to... Um, Physical evidence on the shovel. Yeah, can we try just in case? Well, we know it's his shovel. Yeah, but but we don't have any evidence yet. Besides the evidence, we could do psychology again and try out this guy. No, because we already did that. We already did that. We're going to Scotland Yard then? Are we trying to finish I, this? I don't know. I I think the game thinks we have all our evidence. <laughs> Yeah. It does. I think we have all the clues. I'm just not sure. All right. Let's try it. Okay. Here's what happened. Are you ready? Who stole the jewel? Matt Hilda. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> the jewel was stolen by that guy. By that guy. How did he get the code, Casey? Because he helped with, dated with her. No, which, he dated her. Right, but he was seen with her. Uh -huh. Was he seen with her? Yes. When? They did know each other at least. Or know of each they other. They were seen together. Okay. By who? She got, she talked him into letting him steal a thing to get revenge on her. He got murdered by this guy who wanted the scarab for the family treasure. But he didn't take the scarab, he just took the papers. Or he took the something out of it, which led him back to Greenwich, where he tried to find the treasure, but he didn't find it, but we found it. Because he couldn't get it translated. Right. He couldn't translate, and we could. So I think, yeah, he wanted it stolen, but he's the one who stole it, and I they helped him. She wanted it stolen. Well, no, he wanted it stolen, too. Lots of people wanted it stolen. Anyway, just scan that guy. Ah, uh, we're saying the dead guy stole it. Okay. Why, Why was the jewel stolen? For money. Is it the gardening? No, jewel? papers. It was it's stolen for the papers. For the papers. Right, because they were missing. How could the museum security be bypassed? Because that guy had the code, right? Yeah. That yes. makes sense. I'm not sure. Or do we want to scan her? That's what I'm thinking. It might. Who killed the? Well, he's the one who works there, yeah. so right. she wouldn't. Who killed the victim? I think it was this guy. Well done. You have arrested the murderer and found the treasure. Fortunately, the thief hasn't been arrested because he's dead, right? Oh no, oh, we missed we the thief. It, it must have been her. It was the. I told you it was her. He gave her the code. She stole it. Sold it to him, probably. Sold it to him. He killed him. To find the treasure yes. using the hieroglyphs. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he knew how to interpret the hieroglyphs, right. which brought us to the treasure. Oh, we were robbed! But not as bad as the museum. Yeah, and guess what? It wasn't Matilda. And guess what? I was right. In the end, you were not. I was though, because I said it was her. You that were, stole it, yes. You were just as wrong about who stole the jewel from the museum. No, that's by, the one I was right on. By this chart, you were just as wrong as me guessing Matt Hilda. <laughs> Elizabeth Cunningham was blackmailed by Harvey Griggs and forced to take the jewel from the museum thanks to the security code gathered from her father and her lover. Nicholas Howell was the one who hired Griggs to get the jewel Nicholas had found Sir Hoxter's old diary, mentioning the secret treasure and the jewel being the key to it. When Nicholas met with Griggs to recover the artifact, it didn't go well. Griggs had discovered the message and decided to keep the artifact for himself. He wanted to give the money back, but they ended up fighting over the jewel. Nicholas killed Harvey, dumped the gun in the water close to the docks, mm. and fled the crime scene. So we were right without knowing just about any of right. that correctly. No, we I missed, knew I knew that part. Things, but we we at least got it. All right, and that was just one level on Chronicles, Chronicles of Crime. That was a Spoilers lot. included, and apparently, if that was easy mode, this game's gonna be a lot of fun with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> who can always figure out some of the super complicated stuff out there, so. Try it out for yourself. Like, comment, subscribe, join our Discord, check out all the information below to get involved in all that, and we will catch you on the flippity flop. And did you solve it before we did? Probably. Comment down below. <laughs>